Today on TFL Bike, we have something very, very special. This is the Volcon Grunt. It's a small off-road electric bike, and we've been waiting for such a long time to throw a leg over one of these and test it out. And what better place to do that than to ride it here at the ranch? So today you're gonna see Alex and I take it off-road and show you all the features. The first thing that you notice when you walk up to the Volcon Grunt are these ginormous 25 by eight by 12 balloon tires. This really makes this bike stand out and it also has a big impact on the way that it rides as you'll see momentarily. Now these big balloon tires are also wrapped around these hefty, completely solid, spokeless, durable steel wheels. This is kind of an indication of everything about this bike. It's very simple, but very cool and very rugged. Another part of what makes this Volcon so unique is the way that it looks. It's got a very interestingly shaped frame here. Very cool styling with the colors, with the big tires, with the gold anodized forks, and a lot of very modern looking technology. If I flip it on, you can see we've got an LED headlight here with a couple different settings. You've got a high beam and a low beam, and also just a standard kind of running light mode. But you'll notice it's very simple, very minimal. There's no turn signals, there's no place to put a license plate, and that's because this is not a street legal bike. This motorcycle is made to do exactly what we're doing here at the ranch which is cruising around off-road all right here we go on the grunt so flip the power on there takes a second for the screen to come to life but once it does it looks pretty good it's actually held up with like a higher quality aluminum gopro mount which is pretty cool we're in neutral right now gonna hold okay and let's start out and stroll twist the throttle and here we go Tires are so wide. I feel like I can get a decent bit of lean angle into this bike and I still have big tread blocks on the ground. So I'm able to lean it over a lot further than I probably would another dirt bike, which is pretty cool. The riding position is a little funky. I do feel like my feet are kind of out wide, wider than they would be on a normal motorcycle. Uh, and the steering's a little funky. You definitely feel the weight. You do have to kind of <laughs> really push this bike into a turn to get it to start changing direction. Uh, also, there's the sound. You hear everything on this bike, so you hear the chain, you can hear the brakes, you can hear the suspension working. Most of the electric bikes I've ridden have been street bikes, so you end up hearing a lot of wind noise. And on this, you're going slow enough that you can actually hear the nature around you, which is pretty cool. Powering the Grunt is a 25 kilowatt motor and a two kilowatt hour battery. And if you look, there is a spot where you could throw a second battery. However, if you want to get a second battery, it's gonna be an extra $2,000. So it's an expensive option, but with the second battery, this Grunt is capable of up to 75 miles of range. To remove the battery, you take this magnetic panel off of the top and you take this strap apart and then it's got a little leather strap on the top of the battery so that you can take it out. This battery does weigh a good bit. So Vulcan claims that the weight of the grunt ranges between 250 and 330 pounds. And that's going to depend on whether you're running one or two batteries. Also going to depend on some of the accessories that you add to this. You can get a luggage rack, you can get side bags, you can get a tank bag. And with this battery out, it can charge in approximately two and a half hours. All right, so that was stroll mode. Let's flip it into sport, which is the fastest mode. I'm gonna skip the mid-range one for a second. And uh, it's pretty bumpy out here, but let's see what kind of speeds we can get going on this. Oh yeah, that accelerates a lot quicker. Still not like lightning fast. But yeah, it moves. Big dip in the ground here, slow it down a little bit. Ooh. Definitely bottomed out the forks a little bit there. Not the craziest like motocross suspension on this bike. Definitely jiggles you around a little bit, but it's still a lot of fun. Come out of this deep climb here. Woo! This doesn't have crazy acceleration where you twist the throttle and you're worried about looping backwards. So this would be a great bike to throw friends and family on that 
kind of don't know what they're doing. One of the really cool things about the Grunt is its size. It's actually a fairly long bike, but the seat height is low, 32 inches. So even though I'm only at five foot 10 height, when I sit on this bike, I've got a good bend in the knee and it's very, very manageable to be on. It also really doesn't feel very heavy at all. Now, let's check out some of the tech in this really cool screen that comes on the Grunt. So you've got your power switch here on the handlebar. Because this is not a street legal bike, it doesn't come with a key. So you just power it on with this switch and then you can see our screen there. A really sharp looking display. I like the shape of it and it gives you some good basic information. So right now we're in neutral. If I hold down on the OK button here on the handlebar, then you can see now we're actually in gear. So it gives you a speedometer and it says stroll. That's the mode that we're in right now. Stroll is the slowest, most energy conscious mode. If I hit OK, we go to Explore. That's an intermediate mode that gives you a little bit more acceleration, but still conserves some power. And then you have Sport, which is the fully most aggressive mode that you can go into. And this bike has a top speed of 40 miles per hour. All right, now we are going down into Andre's pit. And first up, we have this pretty steep hill climb here. It's very loose and we're calling this Lava Lane. I'm going to switch modes here. I'm going to go into explore mode. So let's see what the climbing power is like on this. Um, I'm just going to dip down into here and then give it a full pin and see what she does. Full throttle. So yeah, a little bit sluggish, but still made it up just fine. So I'm still in explore mode. This is a pretty uh, gnarly climb here for motorcycles. It starts off easy, but as we get to the top, the logs get angled off to one side, the gap gets bigger between them all. So once again, I'm pretty much gonna go full pin and uh, see how far we make it up this. Let's do it. Oh, so pretty much to the top before I had to put my foot down and I feel like I was running out of power. Um, I think I would lose it a lot earlier on, on a skinnier tire, but with this, you know, if you jump out to one side, it's not really the end of the world. The tire's so big that even if you kind of land the front down at an angle, um, you're probably going to come out all right. So I'm going to do it one more time, but I'm going to go into sport mode this time. So let's do it. Definitely a lot more rear wheel spin. <laughs> but made it to the top without feeling like I had to put my feet down and cut power. As you can tell though, dirt biking is not my strength. If you need to charge any accessories off of your bike, of course you can use this as a power bank because that's more or less what it is. It's just a big rolling battery. So here's your USB-A port so that if you need a little bit of extra functionality out of your ranch bike, you can have it. And on the subject of utility, the Grunt has claimed 400 pounds of payload capacity, and I never thought I'd say this about a motorcycle, but they also claim 750 pounds of towing. I don't see a hitch on this bike, but uh, if they say it tows 750 pounds, I'm inclined to believe them. All right, another cool feature I forgot to mention on this bike is it also has reverse. So throw it into neutral by holding the OK button. And then if I hold the down button, now we're in reverse. And if I keep holding that while I twist the throttle, I'm going to start backing up. And it does go pretty fast, actually, but that would be a little unsettling. So I'm going to keep it at a nice steady pace, back it up to where I want to go. That was, you know, that would have been an uphill climb with my feet, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's got reverse too. And all in all, just a super fun machine to mob around on. The Vulcan Grunt starts at $7,995. So for an off-road specific bike, it's definitely, it's not what we would call cheap, but the design, the fit and finish of it is so cool. And this is such a blast to ride. So if you're out there, with a property like what we have and you want a really fun way to get around it, this is worth looking at. Let us know what you think down in the comments below and we'll catch you guys in the next video.